Hello everyone, editing me here. I am just doing a quick check-in because I totally forgot to tell you that today is the first year anniversary of my little YouTube channel. So yeah, 1st of December was, uh, 1st of December 2022 was the day that I started my YouTube channel and my YouTube journey with Memily Makes. So yeah, just a little fun fact for you that I completely blanked about in every other video that I filmed for you today. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. But yay, happy birthday to Memily Makes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy the video um, and yeah. Good morning, everyone. Happy 1st of December. Happy first day of Vlogmas. We are here. I still amazed that we are already here it's just flown by how are you all today i hope that you're all doing well i am going to sit here in front of my christmas tree and open some advents with you this morning i figured i'd give this setup a little go we'll see how we get on um i have done some yoga this morning um i felt very tight i've been feeling very tight the past couple of days so i thought i'd do some yoga um, and I have started my work because I'm working from home today as usual um, so yeah I've been quite busy this morning I would like to pop out for a little walk um, the sun is pretty much up now so I could probably go out shortly but I'll see how work is behaving when I get back up into the office I just thought I'd take a quick break open some advents with you all and then carry on with the day so we're going to start with Siobhan's Crafts so this one is perhaps the most traditional looking of all the advent calendars that I have got this year. Um, I'm just checking the glare in my glasses. It's not too bad, is it? It should be fine. Um, so this is Siobhan's Crafts. This is her advent calendar. It is a 10 gram mini advent calendar. And I do have somewhere, here we go, the 100 gram skein of yarn as well. Um, but obviously that's not getting open today. That'll be a Christmas day thing. So should we start? Let's go. Oh, right. Okay. So number one, I think is that one, which it is. So we're going to open that. I'm going to look at it as I, oh, I can feel yarn. Here we go. Oh, really tightly closed. There we go. <gasps> oh, look at that. That's amazing. Wait, there's something else in there as well. Hang on. Let me pop this down. <gasps> That's amazing. So this calendar is called Merry and Bright and we're starting off on a winner look at that what are we focusing on there we go that's amazing I love that so yeah it's a 10 gram mini calendar it's going to be great I'm thinking of doing like a cowl with them um I haven't quite as I said I haven't quite decided what I'm doing yet but there is something else in this little little window so oh yeah no that is for today fabulous my gosh right, I'm going to put the calendar down hang on it doesn't help that I've put the 100 gram. Excuse all the, the video games there. Oh, I love this. So this is a little project bag and that is the logo for this year's calendar, which is brilliant. And as I said, the theme is merry and bright. So they're all gonna be really bright colors, I believe. But that looks really nice. It actually matches the bag. It's ace. So that is color number one from Siobhan's Crafts. I'm gonna pop that over there. Um, I can't figure out how to, there we go. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, just about. Right, what should we open next? Hmm, what should we open next? I think Woolly Mamas, because it's here. So here is the Woolly Mama advent calendar. My apologies for the glare. It is a very jazzy box. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna try my best. I'm not sure this is the best way of opening them. So I might switch back to my little other one. Um, but for now, everything fell out. So here we go. I'm gonna pop it down over here. What we got? So we've got the welcome to your advent calendar. I've got the sock calendar. It is the same for Siobhan Crafts. That is the sock calendar. So it's uh, fingering weight, 75% um, merino, 25% nylon, I believe. Let me check. Oh, it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure that's what I got because that's usually what I always get. So this is the same. This is oh turn it over this is the sock calendar the woolly mama sock calendar block my face uh, a base of 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon 24 20 gram minis and one 100 gram skein and then there's some little extras in there as well so i'm going to grab bag number one which is here and let's open it so 
exciting. Again, this one I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with yet because I don't know what kind of colours we're going to get, but are we ready? Oop. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. That is nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. That is absolutely stunning. I really like that. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're off to a lovely, lovely bright start. So that is the Woolly Mama day one. I'm not going to open the extras today. I need to have another think of when I'm going to open them. Um, so I'm just going to open the yarn today. Pop that on there. Right, the next one. Oh, next one I'm going to open is this one. This is the Zakami yarn advent calendar and it's called dream of a journey and this one i was really excited about i'm not sure not that i'm not excited about the others i'm just ridiculously excited so i'm gonna open that right this is the one that we're going on a bit of a journey with so the cami yarn there we are put that in there i have some extras in this little pouch i'm not 100 sure when i'm going to open this pouch I don't know, I'm not 100% sure yet, but we are on a journey and I've put the thing over there. <laughs> we are on a journey with this calendar. So it's gonna take us around two, six, six different countries. We're gonna see some yarn inspired by these six different countries and we are starting in Scotland. So, a place very near and dear to my heart. So I'm gonna show you the lovely postcard. This is the right one, yes. This is the postcard for today, look at that. Absolutely stunning. This is Sandwood Bay in Scotland. And I'll read the postcard to you before I show you. It says, to my dear crafty friend, Scotland's colors have filled my heart with wonder. The heather clad hills are a purplish dreamscape and the locks Simmer, simmer, my apologies, the locks simmer in deep blues and greens. The ancient castles stand tall, their grey stones whispering tales of the past. You'd love the colourful tales and rich history here, you totally would. It is just a stunning landscape. So we did the North Coast 500 and it's like a completely different world. It's just unreal. Um, but yes, there is the back of the postcard to show you. And I believe this is the location of where the photo is taken. So this is where we're going to be for the next six days, is it? Is that, no, four days. I can't count. <laughs> so this is where we're going to be for the next four days. And is it this one? Aha! This is the first one. So box number one. Let's get in. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'll open it on there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's beautiful. <gasps> Look at that, oh my God. That is lovely, isn't it? Let me kind of block myself a bit more. <gasps> Look at the beautiful colors in this bottom bit here. Oh my gosh, oh, that is absolutely stunning. So I do have an idea for this one. I do have a pattern idea, but I'll tell you about it later because there's a lot to get through this morning. So that is, oh yeah. That is lovely. That is advent number three. First day in Scotland, beautiful. I'm gonna scooch that over there because I'm running out of room. Okay, now the, oh, put that over there. Right, so my apologies, you're just getting a face full of hair at the minute. The final advent that I will be opening with you, I made a mistake here because I didn't organize the bag, but it is the Toft advent calendar. So let's get stuck in. Hopefully I left number one at the top, but knowing me, I haven't. No, that's number seven. Oh, day one. <laughs> Here it is. So day one, there you are. Very exciting. Um, yeah, sorry, right. I thought there was something else. So that's day one of the Toft Advent Calendar. So let's get into this. I don't know if the pattern's been emailed to me already, but are we ready? Ta -da! so I kind of knew it would be yarn because if we're starting the pattern today oh that's nice we need yarn so this is violet toft violet yarn 
and then I'll go check my inbox and see what the pattern is. I'll grab my hook, I'll grab a little project bag and I can put that in. As I say, with the rest of them, I'm not 100% sure with the Siobhan Crafts in fact, shall I hold everything up together? I think that'd be nice, wouldn't it? All right, all right. There's noodles everywhere. <laughs> so there we go. These are the selection of yarns that I got in my first day one of Advents this morning. So how exciting. Oh, and obviously, my apologies, the lovely bag from Siobhan's. Beautiful, I'm so, so happy, I'm so excited. Right, so I need to get back to work. In fact, I might take a quick half hour break and go out for a walk, because it looks really nice outside. And I need to get my legs moving. But yes, so let me just put that back. <laughs> so that is the first day. Um, obviously I might switch up how I'm doing this, but we'll see how we go. These are beautiful colors. My mind is racing of the possibilities right now. Um, but yes, the Zagami one is the one that I was thinking of casting on. Although now I'm rethinking and I feel like I need to think about the Zagami one a bit. And maybe cast on the Woolly Mama one because I do have a pattern in mind and I'll show you it later. But for now, that is where we're at. And um, yeah, <laughs> happy first day of Vlogmas. So, so excited. I will see you all in a little bit. Thank mm -hmm. you. Hello everyone, I am just on my little walk, um, as you can see it's quite misty this morning, beautiful light though, really nice, I wish the light was like this all the time, um, as you can see very very misty, uh, really frosty, I'll probably have put some footage in of the frost, there's a lot of frost, um, beautiful beautiful morning um, and I do love this walk, however the farmer has been busy he has deposited a fresh pile of something that I am approaching. I have walked past it once already and it was pretty horrific. Um, and this is the beauty of living in the countryside, I'm afraid. So I uh, will turn the camera around in a moment and just show you how big this pile of stuff is. Um, yes, i trying to think. No, I'll just say it's poop, all right? It's just a giant steaming pile of poop. Um, and it smells because it's very fresh. So the joys of the countryside is that sometimes where we live, um, you can smell the manure from the house. That's probably a better way of saying it, isn't it? So yes, if you don't want to see a giant pile of poo, um, use the chapters below and uh, you can skip seeing this absolute wonder. I will be covering my mouth probably because it does reek. But yes, anywho, little little gem for you. Here we go. And there she is, a whole, oh that's bad, that is a whole, I can't stand here too long, but yes, giant pile of poo, it feels, oh, the heat coming off it is unreal, um, but yes, here is the path, and here is the giant pile of poop, <laughs> there's a lot of it, I know my parents keep saying that um, they'd like to come and take a shovel for, oh my gosh, it's so warm, it is actually warming my hand up, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, my parents, they've got an allotment and they do, I mean, look, it's right on the road. Well, on the path, oh, oh yep, yeah, keep moving. Um, oof, yeah, that's bad. But yes, there we go, giant pile of poop. A very warm, steamy pile of poop. Thank you very much, farmer. That makes my walk very, very entertaining. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm not running that's for sure they have deposited it there uh, in the middle of summer sometimes and I've been running and it's been um, what can I say rather fresh to the nostrils <laughs> anywho enough of that I will get home put something nice and cosy on and uh, yeah I'll speak to you all in a little bit
Good afternoon everyone, I am back for my final check-in of today. <sighs> I managed to finish work about an hour early so I'm pleased. I'm also pleased because my partner phoned me not so long ago to say that he's also on his way home. I am even more pleased about that, let me tell you. He, he works in motorsport and this week has been just horrendous for him. He's had to do a lot of late nights, he's had to get up early to go into work. He's been getting up with me at half five, which is unheard of for him, bless him. And he hasn't been getting home until gone midnight. So to me, that's not on, but I, I can only say so much. And um, I'm just relieved that he's on his way home now, um, nice and early so he can get some sleep. He will be going straight up to bed. <laughs> that is it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be quite a nice weekend. Hopefully you'll get some nice rest in before the weekend as well, because we've got a big bike ride on Sunday. So that's exciting. Um, right. So firstly, to my left is this beast. Um, this is not a permanent fixture. This is one of those speakers that arrived the other day. Um, yeah, it's a lot bigger than we both imagined it would be. So we are going to have to do a bit of shuffling around. So that's why it's here. It's just sitting here for now. Um, all the other boxes I have managed to move over there which meant that I could do my filming this morning in front of the Christmas tree because they were in front of the Christmas tree which was not ideal but we'll get there. So we've only got the one in frame today so my apologies for that. I, yeah that's a weekend task so yes anywho oh and I'm also wearing a Christmassy top my first of 2023 da, da, da. lovely gremlins I do love gremlins oh what a classic eh um, right, so I'm gonna jump in. I know I've left something, hang on, bear with me. Oh, ah. I'm gonna leave this in, my apologies, but I forgot the pattern I really wanted to show you. Ah, there we go, I'm down. I haven't even got a cup of tea, I've got no drink or anything. We're, we're just going with it today. <sighs> right, okay, so I have been thinking. So I have my calendar, which is Siobhan's Crafts, absolutely love this one this this is the 10 gram mini advent this one i'm just going to open i'm not going to make any solid plans yet because i'm still not quite sure what the colors are going to be or well i don't know what any of the colors are going to be but um this one i'm sort of leaning towards a cowl there are some patterns that um do utilize 10 gram minis so i will have a further investigate with this one but my plan for this advent calendar is just to open them and yeah, look at the pretty colours. That's my plan for that one. Now, I did say that the Zakami yarn, I, I had an idea for that calendar. So let me show you the colour that I got this morning, which you will have seen. It looks even better in this light. Got sort of a, oh yeah, look at that. Oh my God. It's amazing how the colours change in different lights. But this morning it was quite a grey looking colour, I think. But now you can see all the kind of, it's almost like a rusty golden hue. It's, oh, it's beautiful, look at that, that's beautiful. So, so lovely. And I still love this little bit at the bottom, gorgeous. So this initially, I had come up with a pattern that I was gonna use. Initially it was gonna be the trifle wrap by Helen Stewart. I have since changed my mind because I came across this pattern that I'm about to show you. And I think I really wanna do this one. So let me show you it. This is the Snowy Pines Wrap by Hannah Nothwell. And that's it. Look at that. Oh, I don't know if it's because of the tassels, but it is, okay, 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 fair, fair point. It is very, very similar to the Dust of Snow Wrap um, that I made last year. Um, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. It looks twice the size, so it should utilize more of the 20 gram skein. Now, what I'm thinking, this is the one that I want to knit throughout Advent. So this is the one I'm going to cast on. I'm going to cast it on tomorrow once I've fully made up my mind. Although I feel like my mind is already made up. Um, thinking off, off the cuff here. But initially I was going to do it with the Zakami yarn. But I've actually changed my mind after seeing this. Because I feel the Zakami yarn Advent calendar might work better um as a blanket it might work better as a blanket so what i'm going to do tonight is i'm going to have a little google oh well i'm gonna i'm gonna scroll through my uh, pattern pages on ravelry and try and find 
because I've favorited a number of blankets that utilize 20 gram minis. And I'm gonna have a little look through them and see if there is one that really jumps out of me and makes me feel like I really wanna do this. Um, there was one that Nitty Natty did, I think it was this year, at the start of this year, to use at one of her advents. And I really liked it. It was very similar to what I did with my, um, I can do this. <laughs> Geo gradient, so that centre square in my the first clue that I did for the geo gradient, um, it's very similar to that, but it's a blanket, um, and obviously all the triangles are different colours. Anywho, um, once I find out more, I will let you know. But yes, that is kind of what I want to do with the Zakami ones, I think. So let me quickly show you. Uh, so this is the one from Woolly Mama. Really like it, and I do think that that's going to work quite nicely with this wrap. What do we think? What do we think? I do like it a lot. I mean, there's so many different patterns that that you could do, but that's my thinking at the minute. And I think actually, no, you will find out tomorrow if I decided to cast on. Oh, to cast on or not? Um, I might wait until I've opened tomorrow's colours just to see what the next one is for the Woolly Mama advent calendar and then I might decide I'm quite undecided this year I don't know yeah but yeah I definitely think this is going to be a blanket because I don't know why I'm that's the feeling I'm getting off it I feel like it should be a blanket um like the journey blanket or something <laughs> I don't know but yes, so that is what I'm going to do with that. Um, on the vein of the Zakami and the Woolly Mama advents, I do have, sorry for the rustling, I do have all of these, which are the extras for the Woolly Mama advent calendar. I don't think I'm going to open these today. Um, the lovely Michelle from Shell Star Stitches, she has this calendar as well. And I did, have, I did ask her when she's planning on opening hers because obviously the last thing I want to do is spoil it for her. Um, and she said that she tends to open hers on the last day. So I don't know, I need to think what I want to do. I think I want to open one. I need to count how many are in there. And then I think I might open one every other, I don't know, every however many days. So I'll divide the amount of packages between the amount of days and then I'll do it that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, with the Zakami one, so I Dream of a Journey, this is the Zakami packet. Shall I open this now? Do you know what? I'm going to open it now. Why not? We have started. Why not? So I don't think it said anything about when, when you should open it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm glad I've opened this now, actually. I've just seen what's in there. Perfect absolutely perfect in fact yeah it makes sense to open this now so all oh, right okay so i've got a little card in here um it's quite a lot written on there that's so lovely uh that's lovely yeah i'm not going to read this out but there is a oh here we go i'm going to read this bottom bit our inspiration comes from the children's book i dream of a journey by our favorite author illustrator akiko Miyakoshi from Japan. So I've never heard of that book actually. It sounds very interesting. Um, oh, how beautiful. No, that is absolutely beautiful, that is. I might read it out to you tomorrow. Um, I, I'm aware that I've gone way over. So in here, oh, very nice. In here, oh my gosh, that's so nice. There is a discount code for Zakami Yarn. Uh, there is a 15% discount code. I'm obviously not going to show you because the code is on here. And there is also a 10% discount on 2024's advent calendar. How lovely is that? That is so lovely. Um, and then what else is in here? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just like, oh, that's so nice. So there is an absolutely beautiful origami crane. I'm going to see if I can actually open it out. I used to make these myself. Um, a long time ago, but you can't really, I can't really flatten it out, but there's a lovely little origami crane um, there. What we also have is a really, really beautiful, oh, that is absolutely lovely. Oh yes. So there's a beautiful stitch marker that is hand embroidered in Edinburgh by Bobbles and Berries. So if I bring that up, look at that. 
How lovely is that? That is absolutely stunning. And that is like a proper embroidery as well. It's beautiful. So that is gorgeous. And I've heard of Bobbles and Berries and I have seen some of their stuff and think it's absolutely stunning. So that is lovely. Right, what else is in here? There are four tea bags. So I have this one, which is Jade Tips. Uh, Jade Tips is a Chinese green tea with fresh, elegant flavour. It grows in the countryside around the city of Xinjiang in Henan province. Excuse the pronunciation. We have the classic Earl Grey, beautiful, beautiful grey, and that is handcrafted in our Edinburgh tea factory. So I'm not going to read too much of that one because, again, I am going probably over peppermint tea. We all know what peppermint tea, absolutely gorgeous. And then finally, a lovely breakfast blend. So, yeah, I might actually brew this one up tomorrow morning. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I've opened this now because, as I say, sorry, I just realised I'm wrestling like a mad woman and, yeah. I'm glad I've opened this now because obviously it's got tea in it. So I may as well have brew myself a cup of tea while I'm opening the advents. It makes total sense. So yeah, really pleased that I've opened that. There we go. Happy days. But as I say, with the Woolly Mama um, extras, I don't know when I'm gonna open them yet. I might, yeah, I'll have a look. Anyway, right, onto the next thing, the Toft advent. My pattern was in my inbox and I have completed clue one. So just a quick spoiler alert, uh, I am about to show you clue one of the Toft day one, <laughs> clue one day one of the Toft advent calendar. Now Kerry Lord has already released her video on making this, um, I haven't checked it but I assume she shows you obviously how to do it and um, within that video is a spoiler anyway but I'm just going to say spoiler warning, I'm about to show you clue one. Um, of the advent calendar. So I have started, I have been using my little marker, my little counter. And just a reminder, the yarn was this lovely violet. And if I show you it, I've got a couple of ideas, but here it is. <laughs> that's, that's day one. There we go. Um, yeah, I wonder what it could be. I kind of thought maybe a sack Maybe it looks, kind of looks like a hot water bottle, if I'm honest, but I could be wrong, <laughs> totally wrong. That's all I'm thinking of, or maybe the body of something, I don't know. But it's got a, like um, a flat bottom, kind of. So we started down here and finished up here. It does say to cut the yarn and fasten off, but I'm very apprehensive to do that, I don't know why. So I'll wait until tomorrow's clue comes out and then see what what, what to do. But um, yeah, Kerry does say to cut it and fasten, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I suppose I should watch her video and then see what she actually does at the end of the video. But anywho, clue one is done. Day one of the Toft Advent calendar. I am storing it in the little box. Um, so that's pretty handy. And plus what's nice is, I don't know where my, my hook is, but it also fits my, my counter in there as well. There you go. Fits that quite well. You can close that up. And I'm with, uh, Oh, excuse me. And I was using the box. I had the yarn in the box as like a yarn bowl. It was quite useful actually, so pretty good. Right, now, those are the advents. Um, there is something else I have worked on yesterday and today. I managed to finish it today. Um, so I'm gonna show you. They are my autumn socks. They are off the needles. They're not finished, obviously. I need to tie the ends in and block them, but they're done. There you go, the autumn socks. And this is the Farnrum Soccer. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I think it was Ninja Chickens Designs. Oh, no, completely drawing a blank. Please look below for the pattern. Just remember that the, um, the pattern, the actual pattern has a colour work band going around it. I omitted the colour work because I just wanted plain, plain old socks with the mismatching thing and the yeah the cuffs and all that right I'm gonna put one on excuse me <laughs> let me put one on ah there we go oh gosh hang on there's yarn there's yarn all right all right all right, all right. Ah. <laughs> try not to there we go they fit kind of can you see that can you kind of 
they fit nicely i mean obviously there we go Oosh. sock so yeah i'm really pleased that's really awkward to show you so i don't know what i was trying to achieve there <laughs> but anywho um so yeah all i've got to do with these is sew in the ends and block them and they're done so really really pleased that they are done pretty much done i don't know why i keep claiming them as done let me put the sock back on because it's cute um yeah so i am gonna call it a day i'm gonna edit this video get it out to you today and yeah it's the weekend tomorrow so i'm really excited day two of vlogmas coming as well um yeah so i am gonna get my thinking cap on about what i want to do with these two advents so blanket advent and shawl or wrap advent um yeah lots to get on with and as i say my partner's on his way home so even more exciting so i'm gonna leave that there and thank you so so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video